guys, what's up? I'm Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create some really cool looking elements using Stardust. Now, Stardust is a very popular plugin these days. You know, you can create some really cool looking animation using some really simple steps. I got a chance to play around with this plugin and I have been using this plugin for quite a while now. And yesterday I was just, you know, playing around, having some fun with it. And I came up with this really simple but cool looking animation with which I thought were really simple to make. And, you know, you can use it in creating some really cool looking motion graphics as well. So I thought of sharing it with you guys. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. So let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be 1920 by 1080. Let's make this 30 FPS. And yep, let's make this 10 seconds should be good. And hit OK. Let's create a new solid by hitting Ctrl Y on the keyboard and let's rename this to Stardust. Hit OK. I'm going to pretty quickly rename the comp to main composition. OK, and right off the bat, I'm going to add the Stardust plugin to this thing. There we go. So we get two panels. That is one is the main control panel and the other one is the node based panel, which makes it really easy to create some, you know, complex looking animation. Now, if you're familiar with trap code particular, then understanding Stardust will be really, really simple for you. Now, if, if you don't have trap code particular, if you're not familiar with trap code particular, still, I'm going to try to explain the simple steps. And by the way, it's not a promotional video or paid video. I'm just, you know, going to share my opinions and you know my ideas about using this plugin so yeah i'm not gonna go into too much detail i'm just gonna try to cover up the simple animations you know how we can create simple animation using this plugin so the first thing that i'm gonna do is go into our emitter section and uh, you can see right at the bat it's gonna emit some particles and by the way these particles are 3d so what i can do is create a new camera you know, let's make this maybe 28 millimeters. And if I select my camera, you can see we have some really cool looking 3D particles, right? Let's hit Control Z to reset it. Let's go into the Stardust. And the first thing that I'm going to do is bring down the particles per second count really low to maybe something like five. Really, you know, little particles. And I'm going to increase the speed to around 300. So you can see the particles are shooting out, you know, more in the space. You see. Let's change the direction of the particles to directional. So I want the particle to get emitted on in just one direction, just like so. And for the direction span, I'm going to set this to maybe let's go with 40. All right. If I, you know, make this really low, then it's going to go something like that but you can go absolutely crazy with this just like so I set this to around somewhere around there 40 looks good to me actually that's that with the emitter let's close the emitter and let's go into the particle section and right over here i'm gonna go into the particle properties and you can also play around with the you know size of the particles make it really intense or something like that so for now i'm just gonna keep it somewhere around there looks good to me also play around with the size randomness if you want to oh you know to get a different look something like so then what i'm going to do is let's go ahead and let's actually close the particle section and let's add a replicator now this is a really cool one you, you can see we have some really really amazing options to create complex looking animation and if i hover over each tab you can see right over here it says what it does you know clone material and stuff like that so for now i'm going to go with the replica so i'm just going to click on it so it's going to bring up the node then you can connect the particle node to the replica mode just like so then what i can do is let's go into maybe increase the replicas actually first of all i'm going to just set this to maybe 10 and your yeah, density let's leave it 100 and then if I rotate this, uh, rotate the angle, something like so, you can see it's gonna replicate the particles. You can play around with the replicas if I want more intense. You can see it can go really high, so like that. 
and it looks pretty cool and it's 3d so for this example i'm just going to set this to zero i'm going to increase the angle z for the replica just like so i think it's too much i'll just come let's let's go to zero again and let's start something like so maybe i'll you know play around with the density maybe it's something like that pretty cool right looks pretty interesting you can see i can play around with the particle size as well so i'm just gonna bring them down to something like maybe eight or something looks pretty good you can also play around with the density so i can just bring this down really something like that and then i can change the color to random from gradient and if i grow into the go into the gradient option i can select from number of preset they have really cool preset that we can choose from or you can also create your own preset if you want to so for this, this example i'm going to go with let's say this one hit apply and now you can see we have something like this which looks pretty interesting if i just play it you can see looks pretty interesting and one more thing that i like to do is go into the shadows and turn them on so we get a really nice depth into the scene i will tweak the shadows later on so let's go ahead into the over life size over life and let's go into the presets now again we have different number of presets that i can choose from i'm going to select this gosh bell something like that hit okay so we have bigger particles in the beginning and then it ends up like a smaller particles just like that you can also play around with the size again i'm going to increase this a little bit and just bring down the density a bit just like so get this really cool look and it's 3d so you can do number of crazy stuff with this you can also change the particle type so it's the particle shape is set to circle i can set this to rectangle if i want to you know play around with this create a different look right off the bat you can see looks pretty interesting and just play around with this creating some pretty nice motion graphic elements looks pretty intense also you can you know create a texture of your own so it's gonna you know replicate the texture then if i have a 3d model even i can input a 3d model in this that is a really cool thing so for now let's go into our camera and also i'm going to turn on the depth of field let's set the aperture to around 150 and the blur level to 150 as well and then let's bring close the focus distance a bit something like so as you can see looking really nice now let's go into the replica actually and let's play around with some settings i can change the angle you know to create a different look also i'm going to just turn on the shadow for now just so that it doesn't get messed up let's close this up and let's go into shadow property mm, let's set this to zero and if i you know tweak this up you can see we get a different look which looks kind of weird though so what i can do is i can just set this to zero and let's increase this one get a different look also let's set the particles to circle just so we get a more interesting look path offset and i never really tried that i don't know what it does but as you can see really cool looking animations wow this is looking pretty cool see that nice depth of field that we get makes it look really interesting you can play around with different number of settings to create some really interesting particles animation you know which is kind of difficult to get with trap code particular see really bursting elements that we can create with this interesting Let's go back and set this to 100. Let's set this to zero. And for this one, I'm just gonna bring this up. Oh, this is looking pretty cool though. You can see. Interesting. Let's set this to 100, back to 100. So now we have back in the animation that we had. Let's set this to somewhere around. Let's 
So let's do five and bring down the replicas. So we have something like that. And one more cool thing that you can do is if I add a transform, you know, and connect this to the replica. And what I can do is I can animate the position Y. Oh, not the Y actually, I think it's Z. So what I can do is let's hold Alt on the keyboard and hit on the stopwatch and let's add a wiggle expression to this. Maybe 10 comma 50. Let's see what we have. Pretty cool look. And by the way, from this, you can create some really cool looking audio spectrums. I think that would look definitely really cool animating on the beats oh this is looking pretty cool actually now there's a number of stuff that you can try on you know number of stuff like turbulence let's see let's go ahead i haven't tried this on the example so let's try adding some turbulence let's go into turbulence and let's play around with the noise i think noise scale nothing is getting affected I don't know why maybe I'll just you know break this up and let's add the turbulence directly to the particles I think mm, nothing is getting affected oh the scale offset as you can see color offset as well interesting this is a pretty interesting effect to play around with noise amplitude you can see the difference between the particles fractal speed so let's see what we have oh this is looking pretty cool see the fractal animation on the particles pretty cool interesting look to play around with let's go into the replica and let's see what more we can do play around with offset oh this can create some really interesting look as you can see the offset if we just offset the replica you can see <laughs> interesting look you know and this part because are 3d so it gives us a lot of flexibility and creating some really nice looking animations pretty interesting so it's not a you know specific tutorial like I always do it just some fun around play around with the plugin and I just came up with this yesterday so I thought it was really cool to share it with you guys you can use it for creating some really cool looking 2d motion graphic as well you know so yep, that's the complete idea behind this tutorial. So I'm just having fun playing around with this, nothing specific. So I hope you guys are enjoying this kind of tutorials as well, where I'm not really specific about creating something and just having fun around playing around with the, you know, new stuff coming into After Effects. Pretty cool, right? Interesting. This is pretty interesting. Let's delete this for now. And I'm going to reset the replica actually. Let's, let's duplicate this. Where is our replica? There we go. Let's rotate this up. Mm, this is looking intense. <laughs> Pretty intense. Let's go into our camera really quick. Bring close depth of field or the focal lens. And get some really nice look. And if I just turn on the shadows pretty quick just to give a bit more depth to the scene. Makes it look more interesting as you can see. Looking pretty cool. So all in all, it's a really amazing plugin, I think. And again, this is not a promotional video. I'm just sharing my own thoughts about it. 
so i would definitely uh, you know recommend you guys to check out this plugin if you want the link will be in the description below and yeah that is all for today and if you enjoy this kind of tutorial kind of a random tutorial you know where we just have fun play around with stuff then do let me know in the comment section below so i hope this video was helpful to you guys and if you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe comment and like and i will see you guys in my next video till then take care thank you so much and before i go let me just remind you guys that i'm doing a series of 10 tutorial for slideshows titles and logo reveals so make sure to check it out i have just started i think we have created two or three tutorials on it so yep more tutorials are coming really soon maybe tomorrow i think so yep I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And don't forget to stay raw, stay creative. Bye-bye.